Hey there guys, how is it going and welcome back to some more Telltale's Game of Thrones. Uh, we are going to carry on now. Uh, in the last part, we sort of Griff got into an White. argument with that white old guy. That's not those fourth boys. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. He's a conquering It was prick. bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people. Drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule carefully. this house. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Okay. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. Probably. It's his Game of Thrones. You can't forsake his safety. Yeah. But we have to do something. We do. My lord. Yeah, right. At least give us a target to aim for. Really tough. If we expel Griff, then he's gonna like hurt Ryan. So we gotta save Ryan first, I think. If we get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's That's safe, the best idea. face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can uh, only take this occupation for so long. Speak true. Would you just let Ryan die? No, my lord. Exactly, so shut up. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then it's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. Fuck yeah. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Fuck Gregor. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenlochs. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. Right. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. No, Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith We've in my children. Try, Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Yeah, that's got a point. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord. So we've got an army of cell swords coming our way with Asher. Well, we haven't at the minute. We've got three people. Well, two and Asher. Things ain't going well for... My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet, away from her father's guards. Wait, what? I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you can think she can her? be trusted? It's possible she has other motives, <clears throat> but it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. Alright, so we're gonna go see Gwyn, right? Gwyn 
White Hill, is that how you say it? I don't even know. Damn. So, I, yeah, this is, I don't know, this one's, this episode's been a bit better, I think, than the first two. Obviously, sometimes when you get into it, it takes longer to get into it than that, but this one's straight off the back. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll oh, have we to go. let the kitchens know. No. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Yeah. Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, uh, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. Oh, fuck. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed. <clears throat> A royal decree oh, sits shit. on my desk now. I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. Bah. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. Thank but you for telling me, just a drink. Oh, one more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding feast. A large Enjoy the festivities. Oh, man. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family. For better or worse. Lord Tyrion. <laughs> Fuck, she's gonna roast me. If you'd only shared some wine with Tyrion, why does he come to you now? What's this talk of a royal decree? You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. Lord Tyrion is helping family. my family, my lady. So it may seem. But he's exceedingly cunning, Mira. Don't think you know all he's up to. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. Oh, fuck you. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah. See you later, bitch. Damn it. We can't do anything right. Off they pop. So where are we going, then? Is that it? We just disappear? I don't know. We're changing scenes, I think. We're going to someone else. Maybe Asher. Asher would have been cool. Going back to him. Uh, we're going back to Garrod. Mr. Garrod. Garrod! Whoa. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. Yeah. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? He was just Here delivering right ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, yeah. I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errol Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. What? And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick. Of House White. Oh, it can't be. Church House White. Sure this one to the Boltons. Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him. Gary. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow. See these new recruits to the Maester. I bet that's fucking awkward. Don't do something you regret. It's gonna be a bit hard to call him if friends. It isn't the fucking pig farmer. Fuck you. Look I'm here because of you. Got sent to the war for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. 
What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the war, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Uh, I'm sure you will be, fuckface. You're gonna die. I'm gonna kill that fucker. <laughs>